Christina in Minnesota says, I'm 44 and wondered if it's a good idea to plan and prepay for my funeral. I want to be cremated and have no real specifications for how my ashes are distributed. I have a partner I've been with for seven years. My dad is my only family. I don't have children and don't have relations with any blood relatives other than my dad. I have a will. My mother passed away a couple of years ago unexpectedly, and I had to make major decisions on the fly to honor her wishes, as well as I had to pay for all of it. Is it a good idea for me to plan for my demise? It's a hard subject to talk about with my boyfriend and dad. I do have a flash drive with all of my passwords and a printed copy of my will and a detailed spreadsheet of my assets, etc. I just want to make sure things are as stress-free as I can for the two important people in my life. I feel like this is a subject people don't like to talk about, yet do not realize how much easier it makes things for their loved ones. Right. First of all, I want to thank you for Christina opening up about uh, how you had to suffer the loss of your mom in your heart and you had to make these arrangements uh, on the fly, which is so often the case. Uh, You're 44, odds are, and uh, hopefully you will be with us for another four decades or so. We'll see. Maybe more. But you never know how long our life is. And so a lot of people that are aging don't want to deal with the uncomfortable topic of death, so they ignore it. And they do so at the peril of their loved ones who will grieve your loss and also have to make uh, arrangements trying to guess how to do it. And not only are you frightfully overcharged in that situation for the services involving uh, disposal of, you know, either through burial, cremation, or some of these new modern things where you go back to be part of Earth. I, mm-hmm. I forget what they call that stuff where you, where you become like, uh, yeah. one of the methods you become fertilizer for, for a, tree a tree or something. Yeah. Anyway, um, the thing is, is to do what you're talking about doing. You state your wishes and you figure out how you want it done that lifts this burden from a grieving father or boyfriend in your case. And I ask you, if you haven't done this stuff, please do this stuff. How to do it. The best way to do, join your local uh, state nonprofit memorial society. Uh, Go to funerals.org and you'll be able to find if there's one near you. They may have negotiated rates. They have a lot of educational information about how to make these plans, what you might not have thought about. And also, they may use, depending on the state or local chapter, they may use group buying power to get much, much lower prices on burials or cremations. So listen to this. People who use a discounter for cremation usually will get a discount as much as 90% off the cost of cremation like you want to do versus, Christina, versus people who just, as grieving relatives, walk into a funeral home and say, okay, here's my wallet, just burn up all the money in it. You will pay 10 times the cost potentially just walking in that funeral home. What you do if you make the arrangements in advance or know to shop around online and negotiate. 